Hello everyone, my name is Webb. I'm here today to tell you that you are fabulous. And right now, we are going to talk about the fact that I was born with one lung and a 45 degree curve in my spine. I was born on March 17th, 1996 at Valley View Hospital in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And I have a twin sister as well, whose name is Kaylee. At first, my dad, he is a software engineer and a web developer, that's his job. And he wanted to name me Web and her page, like web page. It didn't happen, her name's Kaylee. My mom wouldn't go for that. But anyway, when I was born, um, I wasn't breathing quite correctly or as I should be. And my doctor, Dr. Schultz, after about mm, an hour of being born, said, hey, we need to rush him to uh, Denver. We believe he has a diaphragmatic hernia. And so my dad and I got into an ambulance and we rushed to the Rifle Airport and we took an airplane um, to St. Luke's Presbyterian Hospital in Denver. That is where we met Dr. Chang. And Dr. Chang uh, believed Dr. Schultz and he said, I do believe he has a diaphragmatic hernia. I want to let you know, because he was talking to my dad, three out of every four kids do not make it past their first 24 hours if they have a diaphragmatic hernia. So he said, be prepared. At six hours old, um, I was cut open and they learned I was born with one lung. So he stitched me back up and basically told my family, hey guys, you know, um, good luck with him. Hopefully he'll eat, swallow, and breathe all at the same time and you'll be good to go. There's really nothing we can do. So I went home and about a month after being at home, Dr. Schultz again then realized I needed a gastostomy tube. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Or a G tube um, that was inserted into my abdomen so they could pump milk in me, my parents, because I could not eat, swallow, and breathe all at the same time. And I had to go to physical therapy to learn how to um, eat better. Um, my sister, man, that girl was walking at 10 months old, but instead of me walking, I would scoot. I primarily wore oxygen all the time. <laughs> Um, and I actually ended up in the hospital once my brother started to, older brother, he's about four years older than me, he started to go to school and when he would come back with a normal cold, I would get pneumonia. I ended up in the hospital four times. And so then our mom finally decided to say, hey, let's keep him home and homeschool and see what happens. Let's see if he doesn't get sick as often. And it worked. Um, I didn't get sick as often. And we ended up just like homeschooling and we did it you know, from the time I was first grade all the way to my senior year. And little things, like my family, when I, you know, about till I was seven, um, I was getting fed through a G-tube. Um, they were pumping milk in me. I would eat a little bit, but certainly not three meals a day. Um, they call me the weak twink. Like, I was so tiny. When my mom signed my sister and I up for t-ball, you know, they'd make us run to the fence and then run back to exercise. I was first, of course, always the last one to get back from running through the fence and running back and I'd throw up. I'd throw up every single day at T-ball, eight in the morning on the dot. And my mom thought, well, maybe we shouldn't feed him. Like no milk, no food. Let's see what happens if we just don't feed him beforehand. I'd still puke every day. Puking was my thing. I probably did it at least 300 times a year for the first seven years of my life. And my parents would call it the freeze. And what the freeze was is what they would maybe pump milk into me too fast and I would just freeze up and kind of just shake and like turn purple and just spew everywhere. I was just the hottest child. I did get stronger as years go on and I would really like to thank every doctor, um, Dr. Schultz and um, Dr. Chang and my back doctor, scoliosis doctor, um, Dr. Mark Erickson for saving my life. All of you are fabulous, every medical staff, everyone that gave me a flu shot over the years to keep me healthy, et cetera, et cetera. You go. All of you, you're amazing. Um, and I thank you so much for the care that you give me and also for the care that my parents and brother and sister gave me because they had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> and so they gave me all the love and support as well to stay strong and continue to go. And what I wanna hear from all of you is how you were born. Were you born with one lung? I'd love to know that. Um, scoliosis, cystic fibrosis. Um, I want to know how fabulous you were born and I can't wait to hear your stories. As always you guys, please subscribe to this channel, turn on those bell notifications to get reminders of new videos. Please like, subscribe, ask me any questions you like and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks guys. I'll see you next Friday.